Good morning. Good morning. Johannes. Yes. How do you pronounce your name? Because you're from Sweden. Oh, Johannes. Johannes. Yes. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> um, good to have you here. Great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, you just, I think, a few weeks ago, you came from India. From India, yes. You have a you have a really a, a relationship with that with that country. Yeah, for for since 2010, I go there every December. I perform in different music festivals. And I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of Indian musicians and, mm. and uh, learn about their music. Mm. You're a, a globetrotter, right? You could say so, absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. you don't... Um, um, you, you not only go to those countries um, to get to know the culture, mm -hmm. but you really find your way into the music industry and you really find a place there. Well, yes, I searched my way there also out of, of personal interest, of course, because yeah. I'm very fascinated with the, with the music from the East and all the way. Uh, Have you always been fascinated in that? Absolutely, yeah. And of course, now in recent years, it sort of went more further East. Mm -hmm. So it started with countries like India and, mm -hmm. and the Indian uh, culture and the music mm -hmm. also had an influence on how you um, played your yes. guitar. And now the same with China. How did you end up in, in China? Because you, you, you well, are from Sweden, you live in Amsterdam, yes. you love India, and then to China. Well, I also love uh, uh, China a lot. And I wanted to go to China mm -hmm. uh, for various reasons. I have an interest, you know, especially in the music. Mm -hmm. But it's also a great opportunity now where the uh, classical guitar and guitar in general is becoming very popular in China. It's a growing thing, it's a new thing, and that's what makes it so exciting for me. So I wanted to search my way uh, in there. But at the same time, the bonus was that I could also then, you know, emerge in my interest of, of the music. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what is so interesting about Chinese music? And, and when we speak about Chinese mm -hmm. music, are we talking Chinese music in general mm -hmm. or, or specifically traditional Chinese music? Well, I think you, you, that's, that's a big point there because, of course, when we deal with Chinese culture, it's very vast. Mm -hmm. And it varies in different parts of the country. Um, I tried, of course, it's a bit like taking a C and I'm, I'm just showing you a little drop, but mm -hmm. I basically what I was interested in particularly was the way the, the Chinese instruments are similar to guitar, you know, using with strings and plucked. Which are? The like pipa? Like the pipa, but also the gujin is kind of a harp, which has a very similar sound to the guitar. So as I went to China, I realized that's wonderful that they were so interested in, in um, the Western style of guitar, but I, I wanted to kind of uh, give them back their own culture and show them that it could Through also your guitar? Yes. And how did you do that? Because how different are those worlds? Well, the, there are, of course, differences, but also similarities, mm -hmm. uh, particularly as you heard in this uh, jasmine flower, I'm using a kind of tremolo technique that is on the, although we do it sort of a more uh, uh, with thumb mm -hmm. and the fingers in, 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 on the pipa, they use a technique which is. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for example, that tremolo, the, the Chinese ear, they love that. Yeah. They're very used to it. So the, I think the, the guitar can do that very well. Yeah, okay. Also. And would you say, that, um, that the Chinese audience understands what you are trying to do with your guitar or that you're trying to give back. Do you have a big Chinese audience? Well, I do, yes. Actually, at this moment, I, the last three years, I did so much work in China that I could almost, at this point, I could Move probably there. just go and never come back. Oh, don't but, do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's, that's the way they, they receive uh, your music there. Well, at first, like the first year I came there, I just played my own uh, music and, and traditional classical repertoire. Mm -hmm. But, um, and of course, there was a great interest, but I felt there was a way greater connect with the audience when I also brought some of, of their things there. I have a picture here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it's 
you in between the audience. You're like you're like a pop star here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. What do you um, love so much about um, about the Chinese culture? What makes it? What um, appeals to you? Well, I think as as a visitor, what you're very much uh, struck by is the the generosity, the the hospitality. And, and the wish wherever I go for them to share their local culture, mm -hmm. the local food, uh, the singing of songs mm -hmm. or reciting of poetry. They're so keen mm -hmm. in, in, in showing me so their best. Mm -hmm. And that's really uh, moving and touching. Yeah. Okay, um, this CD, China, let's say it's a tribute to, to maybe um, the feeling that the country gives you. You could say yes, and it, it really is, it contains arrangements uh, of popular tunes, like yeah. the jasmine flower. Everyone knows that, right? In China, everybody knows this. Yeah. You can hear it in the elevator and everywhere. People mm -hmm. can sing the words. It also has some uh, transcriptions of a very traditional cl Chinese classical music. Mm -hmm. And then it also has the, which is for me the heart of the uh, production, mm -hmm. which are my five Chinese impressions, I call them. So these yeah. are my own original music written in within the Chinese tradition style, parameters. Yeah. So You're going to play that for us, right? Exactly. I'll play You're gonna, for you three of them. Um, we're going to listen to the three Chinese impressions. Thank you, Thank Johannes. You. Thank you.